Well, hey, everybody. Hey, YouTube. It's Chuck. Well, we are in the middle of a Hurricane Debbie here in the Florida area. Granted, this is uh, coming on shore on the Western Big Bend area. I'm going to show you a picture right here of the current status as of about 20 minutes ago. So you can kind of see the weather we're looking at. And for most people that don't live in Florida, you know, storms like this, if, they, if the eye is not coming right over you, it's just a rain event. Uh, and that's what we have here today. And because I, I feel it's safe to do this and the traffic is probably going to be low, I'm actually going to go out and do a little bit of a drive because some people have said, hey, we need some FSD um, testing, you know, in, in rain and, and nighttime and things like that. So here we go. 12.5.1.1. And the first thing you see is I've got the badge. Uh, full self-driving may de be degraded from poor weather. Um, I don't know. I, this is not going to be a traffic drive more than likely, but let's just get out here and do a little bit of uh, driving and see what we see. Wow, I see some uh, old rotten limbs down. A little bit of wind and rain. I don't know if you can see in the cameras the, the trees blowing. Okay, so it's a stop there and it's wide open to the left and the right. So we get a roller here on our unprotected left, which is great. I'm not going to test this sort of stuff with wet roads and a lot of other drivers, uh, you know, like I would normally. But I do want you to see the windshield wiper behavior. And look, there's this uh, left lane line hugging again, too, uh, that we saw yesterday on my UPL video. Uh, you can kind of see that. Um, yeah, you know, I don't, the, the auto wipers, you can see they're kind of on high right now. We'll see if it stays engaged. I think it probably will. Um, our first point I've got is what I'm calling FSD Fire Station, which is that left hand turn into that really unique intersection. Uh, that I've been testing the last few times. I'm not doing this to try to trip the car up. I'm just trying to use this as a repetitive route that you guys seem to like and want me to talk about. Um, it is 8 a.m. on a Monday morning, so for the folks that are getting up and going to work, because this is not weather that would keep you from going to work, um, you know, rush hour kind of will be starting to come in here uh, in a little bit. So that's kind of the route we're going to do here, and I'll be playing with the waypoints to some extent, but hopefully, hopefully not too much. Um, so the, the badge is staying up. Usually in the past previous stacks, this badge was almost directly correlated with the windshield wiper speed. Um, so, I, you know, that is something. So interesting up here ahead, we do have flashing lights. Sometimes that does happen during weather. Um, okay, let me go ahead and stop talking here. And we're, we're doing an unprotected left into this tiny little intersection. We do have a car turning to the right. So we, we have perhaps a more complex scenario than we did last time I did this. There is some standing water on the streets and a lot of spray. I can see fine. I'm not worried about this at all. But the flashing yellow up there, the, the intersection light, is creating a little bit of a dynamic to where the traffic... Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Should be coming to a stop here. And I'm going to delete that point. And we're going to continue here. It should go to the right. That's great. It's doing, it's doing exactly what it did last time. And now we got an unprotected left crossing into a merge scenario with a little bit of an obstruction here. It needs to, it needs to creep. Now, that's a great view. It could go right now if it wanted. Now, I'd rather it wait. It is being, that gap was plenty big for it to go and it chose not to. So there may be another buffer on here or it's waiting for the traffic from the right as I'm, Okay, here's our clear to the left. We are not clear to the right, so it needs to merge and wait. Here's your camera view. I'm just looking over to the right-hand shoulder. We have two cars to go, and I'm sticking out a little bit, and it waited on both of those, and we're crossing two lanes. That was perfect. Here in a hurricane. Wow. Good job. I'm really, I mean, while the badge was staying up and everything. All right, flashing yellow and flashing red here. We have had some people say it doesn't know how to behave here. Let's see what it does. Okay, wow, it's treating the flashing red perfectly. I had a flashing red arrow. And, and these are very dangerous intersections when you basically, everybody has to honor the yellow, you know, and the flashing reds. It's gonna be interesting because we're gonna do a U-turn on the way back and we're gonna create a scenario where the Tesla is gonna have to figure out the flashing yellow and red also. Now I've got a car behind me. Um, I'm going to create another U-turn scenario here, but I'm going to do it in a different spot to be a little safer today with a car right behind me so it just doesn't jump into this median. 
Okay, the car's left behind me. I'm gonna go ahead and change the route now. It should be programming a U-turn. Ooh, very aggressive. Okay, I tapped the brakes there. That wasn't gonna work. I'm sorry, I tapped the accelerator. It was aggressively stopping to do a U-turn where that car was already in the median. I would have had to have stopped in the lane of traffic. That was not where to go. So that was an intervention for sure. I didn't disengage. I did tap the report button there. But me pressing the accelerator is going to take it to a better scenario to do this turn, which is at the traffic signal. So there's plenty of choices the planner could have made there on where to do. Oh, oh, look at this. Okay, so this is not a good move. There's nobody behind me, so I'm going to let it do it. It's doing the U-turn right here. There's a traffic signal right up there. Now look, it's going to do the U-turn fine, but Tesla, let me tell you, this car cannot see far enough to do those U-turns safely in high-speed traffic. It should have gone to that light, especially since it was right there in front of it. I'm not saying take the rain into consideration. I don't think that had anything to do with that decision. That was a planner decision. Um, yeah and as we come up here you're going to see these intersections where it was thinking about doing this u-turn so it was going to do that u-turn right there where the truck was in the intersection and it was going to stop in the traffic right there in order to do it and there's cars coming through here and, and aggressive stopping to make u-turns is not what you want to do just keep on driving like you're doing in your turn signals just keep on driving all right so what we've got here flashing red this is going to be kind of dangerous because the other direction is, is Roosevelt, which has full on flashing yellow and those cars are not obligated to stop. So the car is going to need to be careful. A little bit of wind debris here in the road here and it's going to run right over that. It's a palm frond. It did slow down to see what it was. Um, I don't know if you noticed that. It, it started to slow down I, and as I perked up to see what it was. All right, so here's a stop line. Is it going to stop on the railroad tracks? interesting i um let's this is going to be interesting to see it, i'm glad it's not on the railroad tracks there is room one more up there it's a flashing red that it may have to wait a long time i don't even like these intersections and i don't know that i want tesla to do this all on its own i'm going to make the decision safely of course um i mean driving in a hurricane with power outages that create flashing lights is is not good and and this this car in front of me is being very cautious i would have gone there it's almost like he doesn't realize it's a flashing all right here now okay so he's got room let's see what the tesla does all right the tesla is very confused it's it's like creeping up but won't cross the railroad tracks all right so i'm going to tap the accelerator there just to get it to cross the railroad tracks so it can see now let's see where it stops um it stopped here at the line now it needs to play the creeping game but there's a lot of traffic to left and right but i think it needs to move further forward i don't think it can see guys i i'm looking through the trees to the right i can see much better to the left but to the right there's all of this traffic that has a flashing yellow due to the the uh the signal probably having some sort of power problem in the wind um i'm right where i need to be now because there is no way for me to go right now with all this traffic from the right oh i just felt a little bit of a creep i think it's confused um a couple of these i might have gone for if i was completely driving like that previous gap but it definitely needs to wait on both directions uh and every time a car pulls up to take a right it loses its visibility i'm just gonna sit here for a few more minutes I do have a car behind me that's waiting. All right, I, I'm getting, oh, I got my gap. Oh, wow, and then a big truck comes to the right and I can't see there either. Okay, well, uh, we're, doing the, we're doing the right thing. I can't see any longer, so it's not like I, I need to rush. It's almost like we need a traffic signal. Um, policeman out here to guide this rush hour traffic oh my gosh he just jumped out there and turned right around that truck that was crazy he was very aggressive not people behind me would, must understand that i can't see to the right so we're just gonna sit here i'm just talking out loud so you know what i'm thinking i know a lot of you guys say i talk too much and some of you say i talk just right okay here's my gap let's see all right i am now pressing the accelerator right 
now. There's my gap. I'm pressing the accelerator. All right, yep. So I forced it. It didn't go. There was a big gap. I don't know what I would have expected Tesla to do there. Um, that was hard. I, I mean, and most of it was around visibility that I was using. Um, okay, I've just changed the route here. And I've changed this up a little bit. So now it's going to come to this intersection and it needs to go to the right. All right, now this is just a joining right turn and then it's going to need to reroute. Oh, where's it going? Oh, it rerouted that way. Okay, well, don't leave your tail hanging out. Okay, let's go. Get all the way to the, where are we going? I don't know where it's going. Now it's getting to the left lane. Okay, so the planner and the, and the driving is confused. Um, so now it's in a left turn lane and it's probably going to reroute to a U-turn, but man, did it just ask for another varsity maneuver. Um, I can't see what the planner's thinking right now because it hasn't remapped. I, a U-turn is what I think I need to do at this flashing red. I'll do that if it wants to try it, but the visibility uh, is good. It's Most of the visibility deg degradation is due to spray from these cars now. But as you can see in front of me, there's it's just constant kind of rush hour traffic in this moderate rain. It's not heavy. It gets much heavier than this in Florida. Um, but I don't know why the planner hasn't updated to a U-turn. And I, without the planner updating, I'm not sure what it wants to do. It, oh, it is creeping. It's creeping, but I can't see anything. Okay, hold on. Oh, gosh. Okay, it's going. It's going. I'm going to give you a second. All right, I'm pressing the accelerator and disengaging there. I gave you a second. Uh, you can't say I didn't uh, on that one. I don't know why you stop the U-turn in the middle of an intersection once you committed. That is not good. Um, I'm pressing the accelerator again because it's confused and I don't want it to stop here. I don't know what it's doing. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know what? I, this, this rain and the windshield wipers and the degradation has, what is it doing? Where, okay. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, it should be going straight. Well, <clears throat> it's going back again. I'm going to reroute it. Let it go straight here. The windshield wiper and the degradation and the engagement was the most important thing I wanted to realize. You've seen me disengage several times. It does allow me to re-engage it when poor weather is detected. Previous versions, it was very difficult to get it re-engaged when that badge was up. So I think we've learned a little bit there um, that perhaps it's more willing to engage itself in poor weather that's being identified. The badge is not going away. It's not taking away my ability of engaging. It's just, it's, it's doing it. Um, the, there's some branches were down there on the right if you notice that. <clears throat> I think the most important thing I'm trying to tell you I'm not going to do today is I'm not going to put the car in a dangerous situation that I'm not willing to take over. That U-turn back there was a varsity U-turn. Um, I let it start it, but I wasn't going to let it finish it once it did not commit. And these cars are going 40, 50, 60 miles an hour for someone who's speeding. And if you're going to start a U-turn, you know, you got to continue it if the, if the gap is still there. I guess you would want to stop it if you're trying to avoid an accident, but you, you might even create a worse situation by stopping in some of those spots. Um, I don't know. So I think the route's still good. I think the U-turn logic and the planner is, is, is half-baked. And the reason I say half-baked is the capability of doing the U-turn is definitely here now, but the planner is not always mirroring what the car is trying to do. So it feels like there's a little bit of inner turmoil going on in the nets as to what, what's next. Um, and if you're not showing it to me on the screen, maybe you've got another plan that you are just not displaying. That's fine. But it, it's acting um, a little confused too. So maybe this is something we need to wait on a, another version or additional builds to just kind of merge. Maybe this is part of merging the highway stack. Maybe uh, some of these old nets... Um, are still in there uh, like we saw the other day when I got the press accelerator at a stoplight. I mean, that's not been on full self-driving other than erroneously for, for uh, gosh, years. Uh, it feels like a couple years anyway. So 
What else do you want to see? I think this is mo mostly a demonstration about rain. And for those of you that don't live in Florida, we drive in the rain, we drive in the wind. Um, the trees are not falling down. We had a few branches and things like that. So this is not something like, you know, I can't believe you're not hunkered down in the house. We still have power uh, and things like that. And this, this storm is going well north of Jacksonville. So I'm just getting these outer bands. And honestly, the outer bands of rain of a tropical system are much less severe than thunderstorms that we get every afternoon in the summer. So that's just kind of a little bit of context uh, for you there. Um, anyway, I think we're just going to wrap up here. I've got some more root and but you know, we're sitting at about 20 minutes on this video and I think the purpose has been has been achieved on the goal just to see how it engaged and stayed engaged while the windshield wipers are blasting. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you saw something that I didn't talk about, or if you have any sort of, you know, explanations for what you saw happen, throw them in the comments uh, on YouTube if you're watching it there. If you're watching this on X, you know, have a conversation uh, in the thread below what you think you saw. That's how, I, I tell you what, I learn from you guys, you know, critiquing these videos and finding things that I didn't even see while I'm driving. I mean, good Lord, I'm, I'm monitoring. I got my foot on the brake and the accelerator and I'm, I'm talking a mile a minute at the same time. So I can't, I can't truly see everything. Um, well, that's it. Have a great day, everybody. Uh, I'll try to get this up for you and we'll see you soon. So long.